Hey, how's it going, everybody? God bless you. Brother Brian here. Welcome back to Love Has a Name. So today is March 13th, 2022. It is Saturday. As you can see, a little bit of, well, hopefully you can see a little bit of snow fell down there. We got a rainstorm overnight into early morning, turned into snow. The wind has been blowing pretty strongly off and on. So during this video, you never know. The Lord may just blow things around back here. But I wanted to let you know that in this video, before we get started, this video will be about a prophetic dream. So this is a prophetic recap video where I'm going to share with you yet another dream that the Lord gave me regarding Donald Trump. All right. Now, this video, because it is a prophetic recap, it is not a recent dream. It is from about one year ago. So I want to make sure that you check out the previous dream. Now, I've already began to recap several. For those of you who are new subscribers, uh, you, you will learn just by listening. I don't need to defend um, the Lord's choosing. The Lord has chosen Donald Trump, and you will all see that very soon. If you don't believe it now, just hang around, wait quietly. Uh, don't be too quick to speak. The Bible says to be slow to speak and slow to answer. So things will be turning around and you can see <clears throat> you can see the previous video right up here. I'm going to link it because this dream that I had back on February 27th, 2021 was a confirmation dream to the previous dream that I shared, which in reality happened 3 days before the dream I'm about to share. So just to make it very simple, the last dream I shared, prophetic dream about Trump, what happened to um, was in relation to me meeting Trump at a grocery store in the dream. OK, and it was very prophetic. That dream was February 24th. I asked the Lord to confirm for me. And then I had another dream three days later on February 27th, 2021. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. This one is very cool as all God's dreams are very cool. And so I wanted to make sure that I follow up with you on this. All right. So uh, that is that. Let's go ahead and jump right in. All right. So I'm going to read you the dream and then I'm going to elaborate what the Holy Spirit has shown me, the parts that I do know. Now, on this one, I do have a little bit more revelation that the Holy Spirit was gracious, gracious enough to show me. And there was a brother in Christ whom I've never met on Instagram last year who actually broke down what he felt the Holy Spirit was showing him about the dream. And I'll be honest, I'm someone who I humble myself to listen to everyone regardless. And I usually, by the grace of God, can tell if the person knows the Lord or not because of how they communicate and the revelation that comes through them. Um, the Holy Spirit helps me to discern whether it is in line with the Word of God or not, in line with the ways of God or not. It doesn't mean that I know everything. It just means that I've paid attention. I've humbled myself and the Lord has graced me with a gift of understanding and revelation and so forth. And I am always growing. Amen. Just as we all are. So let's go ahead. I'm going to read the dream and then we'll touch on parts that he showed me. And then, of course, leave your comments and let me know if maybe there's other parts that you feel like you have something to add in terms of insight, um, something con to contribute, which will be welcomed, of course. Amen. All right. So this dream. The first thing that I remember is that I am, how can I say, I am indoors somewhere and wherever it is that I am, I realize that there are three rooms that are together. Okay. So imagine a long rectangle. Imagine a long rectangle. All right. And 
imagine you are on the outside looking inside of a home, all right? Or inside of a, a building. There's one section, then there's a second section, and there's a third section, all right? But there are three rooms, but they're all open to one another. So that's what that was like. And just flip back to the dream. All right. <clears throat> so I'm indoors in a three compartment type building. There were no dividers. Now, even though these three sections were not divided, I could tell there was a distinction between all of them. Okay. As if they were three rooms, even though they were pretty much open concept. So all of a sudden I'm I am there. I'm no longer looking in. I am there in the rooms, in the dream, in the experience. And I'm about five feet away from Donald Trump. He's standing in front of me, about five feet away. And as he's standing in front of me, I look to the right, all right, which is his left. And there was another man who was approximately the same size but I could not discern the man's face. I never saw his face. It's as if it was um, hidden from me. All right, to the, to the right of Trump, so when I looked this way, to the right of Trump was like a kiosk. <clears throat> he seemed to be, you know, checking in, as if when you're checking into like a hotel or something, all right? Now, I'm not saying that was a hotel. It's just that type of um, kiosk. The, the man that was next to him, to his left, and Trump were both wearing the same tacky suit, okay? Now, I say tacky. I, that is like an old term that I used to hear back in the 90s um, when I was in school. But I say I wrote it down as tacky because it was a suit that I don't think anybody in their right mind would wear unless, you know, you're just very comical or you're just very sure of yourself and you just don't care what people think. It was a very strange um, business type suit. Okay. The suit was all black and it had blue diagonal zigzags all right so it has zigzags like this zigzags uh, large stripes but they were zigzags and they were blue <clears throat> not only did trump have this type of suit on but the person next to him also had the, the, the exact same suit but i could not see the face of that person next to him right now, that person next to him, because of what they were wearing, I perceived in my observation that they were like twins, right? When you see someone dressed the same, even if it's not the same person, they may look different in terms of their face, their nationality, ethnicity, whatnot. You kind of consider, you know, we, we say, oh, look, look, your twin, right? So it was like a twin. Now, I pointed when I saw them, and Trump looked at me, I pointed to Trump and the other one, and I went like this, kind of like, as if I was saying, you know, something without actually saying words, and I gave a thumb up, a thumbs up. Um, <laughs> I gave Trump a thumbs up. He smiled at me in a way that I knew, by his smile, I knew that he knew me, and he was treating me like someone who was a close supporter and a close ally. Next, the twin and Trump both walk through into the middle section. Okay, so remember we're talking about they were first in this room here where there was a kiosk. Now they're both walking in and they're going into the second section, okay, to the middle. So they walk into the middle, they, they pass me, and they walked straight through, straight through all the way until they crossed into the third section. Okay, now this is important. This is why I'm taking my time with this, all right? So you can visualize this. As they walked in, I followed afterwards, but I remained in the middle section as they crossed into the third section. 
I am in the middle section, the middle room, and I began to notice many people were there. there this was where the bulk of people were. The people were sitting against the walls. Okay, Imagine maybe like in an airport, there are no seats or whatnot, so people are sitting against the walls. Okay, I saw people sitting as if they were waiting. And then there was a young boy and the young boy, <clears throat> the young boy was approximately three years old. I knew instantly this was Trump's son in the dream. Now, logic wasn't exactly functioning in the dream to where I was like, oh, wait a minute, Trump doesn't have a three year old son. So it's not like that came to me in this dream experience. I just knew this three year old boy was Trump's son. OK, and you know how dreams are odd at times. So that's what that was that. I knew that this little boy was supposed to get his coat on, but he didn't want to. Kind of typical, right? Um, he didn't want to because he already had a sweater or a smaller jacket underneath. So while the other people in the room were sitting against the walls, I was standing up and I was very active. I went ahead and probably because of my, um, <clears throat> probably because of my previous teaching experience when I was a former uh, preschool teacher before my job now, I was six years teacher assistant and then six years an actual teacher. And I taught, I've, I've taught anywhere from three to four and five year olds. Okay. So that's my experience. And when I, when I saw the kid didn't want to zip up his coat, I took the initiative to go and help him. I calmly helped him knowing that he, the three year old boy had to join the handful of people who were about to leave with Trump. So now I know that Trump was there. I know that his quote unquote twin or somebody who was wearing the same suit was there. And at this point, I knew that there was like a team of close people with Trump. They were all together. I knew this three year old boy, the son had to get ready to go with them. So I calmly helped perceiving the need and I, I told the child he could leave his coat unzipped, but he had to move. He had to keep moving forward. Okay. Now I perceive this because I didn't see it as an issue. As I sent him off, I walked into the third section at this point and the boy as well. And then by this time, Trump and the other people were, were like at the very, very end. And there was a wall here. Okay, there was a wall. He was about here, Trump. I was about here, okay, and the section was right here. So I just stepped into the, into the third section. And then as I sent him off, I vaguely recall Trump was, uh, he took like three steps up into, and I didn't actually see what was there. It To me, I assume it was a wall because there was like nothing there. But, what was very interesting is it almost seemed like he was getting Trump was getting on board like like a helicopter. OK, but again, I didn't see that it was a helicopter. I didn't see that it was a plane. It was like a wall. It was like three steps. He was stepping in and he was going through it. So very, very spiritual. Right. As Trump was at the top step about to go in, <clears throat> he turned and I vaguely remember Trump going like this to me, acknowledging my part in helping the three year old son of his get moving so as to not be left behind and to go with Trump and the others. OK. Just as he was boarding. So uh, da, da, da. so that pretty much was it. OK, now I know that may not seem like much. But here are some of the revelations that the Lord gave me. Um, the brother in Christ from Instagram, 
who shared with me and then the things that I understood as well. Okay, so it seems like these three sections are three different phases or transitions in the matter. Trump, me being there with him, is because spiritually speaking, just like many of you know who have seen the first uh, prophetic dream the Lord ever gave me about Trump, where God called me to help and to support and to stand in the gap for Trump, spiritually speaking. That dream, if you have not seen it, you can check it out. It's going to be right here. All right, click on that, open a new tab, watch that so you are aware. <coughs> and that is the only time that I've ever paid attention to politics or president or whatnot. Only because God called me to that. Okay, my obedience is to him. It's not to any man or woman who who wants to give me their opinion of what they think I should do or not. Okay, so if I'm pleasing the master, that's all that matters, right? So that was the first dream. And I shared with you a prophetic vision before uh, regarding what the Lord showed me. Um, the Lord Jesus appearing with Trump out of a helicopter and stepping down. And there were four black steps and the Lord was explaining. This is a covert operation, basically. <clears throat> and the, the timing, the details, it's all hidden right now until it is revealed, which will be very soon. Okay, so that's a vision that I shared. And if you want to check that one out, you can check that out right here. Um, I should be able to have these different links showing up. So <laughs> hopefully I'm not pointing to nothingness, right? Um, okay, so then you saw the previous video, which was the one where I met Trump in a dream at the grocery store. And I was asking the Lord to confirm. And three days later, I had this dream. Okay, so here we are. In the three sections the first section where trump is checking in all right this is the the man that was next to him that was wearing this very creative looking not the norm very dramatic i remembered what the lord spoke through cat kerr about the holy spirit being the drama king in heaven and how the holy spirit when he gets a hold of someone they may be full of so much joy that they're laughing hysterically Yes, the Holy Spirit does do that. They may be, they may fall over slain in the spirit, though I've never experienced it myself, not yet at least. And I asked the Lord, feel free to do that with me. Yes, the Holy Spirit does that as well. You remember Jesus in the garden when they came to arrest him, he said, he said, I am he. And the man fell back because the I am spoke the presence of God knocked them over. So there is your scriptural reference for being slain in the spirit um, in one form. Okay, the Holy Spirit can manifest himself in many other ways as well. So the suits that they were wearing, the zigzag was showing the Holy Spirit is with Trump. It doesn't mean Trump is perfect, just like I am not perfect. And just like none who are watching this are perfect. But God specializes in taking imperfect people, those who the world considers, considers foolish and makes fun of and so forth. And God uses them for his own glory and nobody can tell God he can't do that. So that's why we must be careful to not speak against DJT when you haven't heard from God yourself about him, such as many others have. And again, God called me to this. Otherwise, I wouldn't be given my opinion. I just, I know better. I, I know better not to do that, not to make a fool of myself, but I guess not everybody holds back their tongue. <laughs> Anyway, so um, that's the suit part. If there, any of you have extra revelation or any thoughts, feel free to share it. I am happy to, to listen to that. Now we move into the second section, all right, where there was like a waiting area, okay? This is the waiting, the waiting period. Notice the other people who were there. Now, personally, I believe these were other Christians who were unfortunately sitting at the, against the wall here and against the wall here. They were sitting, doing nothing but waiting. And only by the grace of God, I'm not the only one, but this is the dream that the Lord gave me. 
And so from my perspective within the dream, the Lord was showing me that I am being active. I'm not just sitting around waiting. Um, what do I mean by being active? Well, before I had this channel, I had Instagram and I still have Instagram and it's going on just over four years where the Lord called me again. I didn't start it because I wanted to. God called me to Instagram. And then in the third year, God called me to YouTube, which was in 2021. So here I am, just a little bit over a year. And I was um, sharing not only scripture and dreams and revelations and visions, but I was also sharing the things that God was showing me about Trump and supporting him because God called me to it, not man. Now, of course, I had a lot of back backlash and what and, and whatnot, but whatever. Those people will have to see themselves and unfortunately they will have to repent. But thankfully, I will not because I chose to go to God and to hear from him. And when he made it clear to me, I just aligned myself. And now from this point, I am obeying the Lord. So I'm being very active and um, it doesn't mean I don't make mistakes or I haven't made mistakes. It just means I'm being active. So the <clears throat> the three year old boy in the dream, I believe it's another perspective on once again, not Baron Trump, literally, but this generation, the generation that the Lord is using Trump to save not only not only in America, though specifically, yes, but throughout the world, because what happens with America as goes America goes the world, right? Because we are the giant nation. We are the, the main nation and we are the only one that chose God with that oath done in 1620 called the Mayflower Compact. And you can look that up. I've already talked about that. And so um, as I noticed this generation, the three old boy was just, you know, slowly dragging along, you know, following dad or rather the one they're supposed to be supporting, staying with the group. It seemed like other believers weren't really doing anything, but just kind of waiting around. The Lord had me very active. And so by being active, I was I decided to take the initiative, right, and to kind of help the child. And then I realized, you know what, not a big deal. You don't have to zip it up. And the way I kind of see that is, you know what, you don't have to, to the believers, to this generation, you don't have to have it all figured out. You don't have to have it all zipped and, and in perfect order and in perfect alignment. You just have to keep a forward motion, keep a momentum going along with what God is doing. You can't just be sitting around. And I believe that the age, the three the three years um, of the child symbolizes the immaturity, the immaturity in the knowledge of the things of God, the ways of God and whatnot. And so as I helped the child, this generation move along and go into the third section of this um, dream, right? The third compartment or whatnot, Trump, now, Trump symbolizes Trump in the dream, but I also believe in a sense, Trump also symbolizes the Lord in a sense. And with dreams, this happens regularly. You may have a dream where your pastor, whom you're close with, who teaches the right ways of God and so forth, he may appear in your dream. And many times the, the, it will be that person literally, and that's the meaning. But sometimes your pastor will be symbolized uh, will show up, but it's a symbolism of being the Lord in your dream. Um, I've had many men and women of God come to me in my dreams, not only to encourage me, but actually give me words, messages from the Lord, um, guidance and whatnot. And I mean, it's just awesome. And I know it's the Lord using them. And sometimes it is the Lord himself, but he comes in that way and fashion. So in this dream, I believe at the very end, when Trump is moving along, it's a symbolism of the Lord's, um, how can I say, like encouragement when I helped move along the generation that he turned and gave the thumbs up. Meaning, not that I'm perfect, 
but meaning, you know, good job. Thank you for what you're doing. Like, you're doing your part. You're making the effort. Amen? So, um, yeah, that is that. And I remember specifically something what this brother in Christ from YouTube said. He said, it's like there was a wall and Trump literally just was going through it. Almost like a spiritually thing. But it almost seemed like he was going into a helicopter. Didn't look like it or whatnot. It's just kind of kind of um, blurry there. But he said, this, uh, this brother in Christ, he said, Trump is going to have to go through walls, meaning break down walls, go through barriers and such. So I thought that was very insightful. So yes, so that's the dream. Well, now I feel God's presence. Thank you, Lord. Um, wow. That was the dream. Sorry about the... I know I took a long time, but that's I'm very uh, descriptive and whatnot. And... So uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Maybe you have some other ideas or thoughts you want to share. Feel free to drop it in the, com in the comments below. And make sure you check out those videos that I mentioned to you for easy access. Go ahead and click here to see one of those videos. And click here as well to see the other one if you haven't seen it or if you kind of just want to compare. If you haven't hit subscribe, please do so. You can do so by tapping the circular button with my picture on it somewhere up top here. And make sure you stay tuned. Amen. The contest is going very well. And I'm sure this weekend we will have yet another winner. God bless you. I'll see you very soon.